Oh yes, Mandingos. Tonight, we're going to try some food from a burger van. You better believe we are. Right. So welcome back to the Blot Outdoor Show guys. Today I'm in the village of Usworth, which is in Washington in the northeast of England. It's the original Washington guys, not the one in the US here. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm gonna do a, a food review from a burger van, which is called La Cucina. I noticed on Facebook, they park up in different places all the time. And today they've parked up in Usworth outside of a pub called the Blue Bell Inn, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, so I'm really looking forward to trying some food from there. Looks like they do some lovely stuff, like loaded fries, pizza dogs, I might try one of them, smash burgers, and some other types of nice pizzas. We'll see when we get there, guys, and we'll have a look, see what I fancy. You better believe it. Okay, the Mandingos, I will see you when we get down to the burger van. Oh, yes. You know it makes sense. Ah. Oh. Okay then my fan sexuals, we're here. I've just parked up outside the Bluebell pub in Usworth. The queue is absolutely massive, so the food must be nice. You know what I'm talking about, man, Ningos. Well, I'm gonna join the back of the queue and I will see you legends when I get to the front and I'm getting served. Ricicles. Nearly at the front, Mandingos. Right. Hello there, can I have the spicy sensation, sensation burger, please? And uh, Peter Dog. Okay then, folks, that's my food ordered. I've gotten the spicy sensation smash burger and also 
the pizza dog. Oh, I'm dying to get stuck into this, guys. I've just come over the road to talk to you because there's loads of people standing around. Yeah, so it wasn't the cheapest. £16 for them two things. But you don't mind paying for quality, do you? Definitely if I'm going to really enjoy it, doing a bit munching glad back in the back of the old rusty John Claude Van Sexual. I've just nearly tripped over again. Anyway, guys, let these vans passed. I will see you legends when I've got the food. Then we'll park up somewhere and we'll get stuck right in. After the food, guys. <laughs> just being recognised there. <laughs> After the food, guys, I'm going to do a double world famous waski with you. Oh, yes, a double penetration. Oh, you better believe it. See you in a couple of minutes. Got the food, my fansexuals? Let's go and pop up somewhere. Yeah. Okay then folks, I'll give you a quick look at the food before I start eating it all. This is the pizza dog. There you go. And this is the spicy sensation smash burger. To be honest, I thought they'd be a bit bigger, definitely the burger. I was expecting the burger to be like some monster sized burger, you know, for eight pound. But it could be all in taste guys. So I'll bring you back in a couple of seconds when I'm in there, munching away. Nice. Oh, yes, man, dingoes. Here we go. I'm going to get stuck into the pizza dog first from the burger van called La Cucina. I noticed when I was standing there, it was also had a name saying um, La Strada Cucina. So it's either La Cucina or La Strada Cucina. Look at that. Pizza dog. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Oh my god. That is absolutely beautiful. Mmm. Honestly, guys, something so simple. It doesn't take much to work out what it is. Pizza dog, hot dog, on top of a, like a pizza base, folded over, sauce, crispy onions. <laughs> Lovely jubbly, is the same the Dudonski. Mmm. Oh, the crispy onions make it even better. Mm. You know, this is something you can easily make in the house, but you don't think about doing it, do you? Absolutely tremendous. Mm. Just wondering who that is. The car going round now. I think I've been spotted. <laughs> mm. Well, guys, I know you're thinking oh, it's only a bit pizza with a hot dog on and onions. But it's so good. It is really good, guys. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I was thinking, you know, for eight pound, because that was eight pound, and that was eight pound. I was thinking, do I need to order two things? 
because they might be absolutely ginormous and I might struggle to eat it but I'm glad I did all the two things because I'm a good eater you know I can't eat as much as what these lads do who do the competitions but I can, I can easily eat this no problem all well he would go with the smash burger oh yes this is the spicy sensation one two patties jalapenos spicy sauce american cheese onions probably something else as well i can't remember let's get stuck in Mm. I'll tell you what. Oh my god. You can keep your McDonald's and you can keep your Burger Kings. This is where it's at, guys. This is where it's at. Mmm. Wow. to be honest it's not really spicy no I like spicy food but not when it's too spicy when it gets to the point where you can't even taste what you're eating because your mouth's on fire but what's the point in that so that's just right little bit spicy so you're enjoying them spices but it's not really burning your mouth if you know what I'm talking about mm. but them smash burgers them smash patties <laughs> they're absolutely to die for a million times better than you know when you go to a normal burger van that you see parked up like on an industrial estate or when you're going to watch your football team you know you go to the Sunland match or the Newcastle match and you get a burger from the burger vans they're all pretty much the same aren't they just your bog standard cheap burger this is absolute quality very expensive mind eight pound i know i wouldn't normally pay eight pound for that and eight pound for that I'd normally see them prices and go, <whistles> not for me, man, dingoes. But obviously, I'm doing these food reviews, so you've got to buy it if you want to try it. Oh, yes, you better believe they do. Mm. Very, very nice. Honestly, guys, keep a lookout on Facebook for that van. I noticed it in a Facebook group called um, Real Food Reviews North East. Obviously the northeast of England where I live. And they go, pardon me, they go all over the place. And from what I've read, there's a few people follow them around because they love the food that much. They'll go to the different places because different, different nights they'll have different foods on, you know, they don't always have the same thing on every night. But, um, I, I would definitely buy something from them again, because it's absolutely beautiful. Mm. <laughs> well, I've demolished these, haven't I? I have absolutely demolished them. <laughs> I was talking to a lad behind us in the queue. He recognised us. We had a good big crap on because we were queuing up for over an hour. If you're watching, mate, all right, mate. It was nice talking to you. Aye. And I was saying to him, I think I'm going to order the pizza dog in this burger. I says, I'll probably keep a little bit of that and a little bit of that for me bait because I think they're going to be massive. But... No, you don't mind, do you? 
if it's absolute quality and you really enjoy it you'd rather it be just a, a normal size like that there's no point getting something massive and it'd be absolutely shit what's the point in that this is a decent size could have been bigger for a big fat lad like me but um apart from that no complaints really 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 nice really tasty you can tell the food is really fresh you can tell the proper smash burgers homemade smash burgers lovely jubbly mm. Get a little bit of tingle on the tongue. <clears throat> Don't eat with your mouth full, son. <laughs> Start there again. A little bit of a tingle on the tongue now, guys. Just nice. Just the rice. Just the just the rice amount. I've got rice on the brain. Rice. <laughs> just the right amount. Well, man, dingoes, time for the score. I've got no complaints about the food at all. Absolutely beautiful. The pizza dog was tremendous. Something so simple, but so nice. The smash burger. Yeah, I know, I keep seeing the same thing over and over again. Could have been a bit bigger, but it was beautiful. So, you know, you don't mind paying for quality, do you? So, all together, I'm going to give it a score of 9 out of 10 dingo man dingoes. Oh yes, you better believe I am. The reason I've only given 9 guys and no 10 is, is because £16 for that and that, it's a lot of money for a lot of people. Definitely, you know, when times is, pardon me, times are so hard. So that's the only reason. Nothing to do with the quality of the food. The food was absolutely beautiful so there you go mandingos nine out of ten from this mandingo now i'm gonna drive home and when i get back we are doing a double oh yes a double world famous waspy with you <laughs> yeah Oh yes guys, you know what time it is, waski time. This time it's going to be a double penetration oh, waski with you. And we've got two different types. Glenn, a lucky, I think that's how you pronounce it, Spearside Single Malt Scotch Waski. We've also got this American one, Sheepdog peanut butter flavour oh waski it's not exactly a proper waski it's a waski liqueur but it's still 35% volume so it, you know it's nearly as strong as a, a normal waski we will certainly give it a review guys that was kindly given to me from it's on your hand Pam and Billy cheers Pam and Billy my man and woman friend Dingo much appreciated well, let's get the old famous cub dingo and we will start with the Glen Alaki Spearside Single Malt Scotch Waski. And let's get it popped in the old famous cub dingo, man dingoes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Now, this is just a miniature bottle, obviously, a full size bottle of this. Will cost you round about the forty-six pound skid mark. I mean, mark. <laughs> All right, let's get the old big Rooney in it. Oh, straight away like a. You know, you get like a spiced fruit cake with some definite ginger in there. I love a bit ginger. 
think I'm going to enjoy this one. Maybe some like raisins. Yeah, some nice juicy raisins in there, guys. Not a bad start. That's enough of the sniffing. <laughs> yes, let's get on with the tasting. Mmm. Oh, now that's very, very rich with a, a definite taste of dried fruits. Mm. Yeah, definite dried fruits. I'm getting like sultanas, maybe some dates as well. The slightest taste of like a like a maple syrup. That's the best way I can explain it, guys. I'm trying to cheat here and have a look at the bottle, but there's nothing on. Just tells you that it's a strong one. It's a 46 percent, 46 percent, as Cowboy Chris would say. Yeah, quite nice, quite nice indeed. First time I've had this one. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> ah, down the hatch. Oh. Oh, like a little bit of a nice coffee aftertaste in that one, guys. Very, very nice indeed. There you go. Glen Alaki Spearside Single Malt Scotch Wasky. Very, very nice. I'm going to give that. Really, really good 8.5 out of 10 bingo mandingos. Oh, yes, you better believe I am. Okay, then. nice little treat for you, this guy's the ones who out of you who enjoy a wasky review, getting a double one. Time for the next one. Bought for me, like I say, from Pam and Billy. Cheers, guys. Sheepdog Peanut Butter American Wasky. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's all I can smell there. And that's just a quick... Oh, just a quick smell of the old Schneckerubel. Let's get that popped in there. The old famous cup dingo. Man, dingoes. Let's get the Schneck in again. Oh, that's just an obvious peanut butter smell. Really obvious. And I'm struggling to get anything else, to be honest. Obviously, obviously I'm getting like a, the wasky smell as well. So basically just a peanut butter and wasky. <laughs> There's nothing else I can say. I'm not going to lie and say it smells of this and, and smells of that. That's what I'm getting, guys, from Sheepdog. Peanut butter wasky. I'm getting the smell of peanut butter mixed in with a wasky. That's enough of the sniffing. Let's get on with the Tearson Lysicles. Ah, now there's more in the taste than there is in the old Sniff Dingo Man Dingoes, as they say in the Dudonski. I'm getting some caramel there. There's a definite caramel thing going on. With a little bit of oak. Yes, oak again, guys. And it's very thick and creamy as it goes down your throat, Dingo. Mm. Yeah. Once again, I'm trying to have a little cheeky look. I'm not trying to cheat or anything. You know, if you want to cheat, I'm sure you could go on Amazon or something where you buy these from and you can read it in the, in like the, the info, the description of it. No, there's nothing on there. Just peanut butter. I'm getting like a... It's on the tip of my tongue what to say, but... Right, the best way I can describe it is... You know, like a Snickers bar 
if you could melt a Snickers bar down the chocolate with the 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 peanuts and the caramel, if you can melt that down into like a liquid and drink it, I think that's about the best way I could describe that. <laughs> oh, spillage! Like a melted down Snickers bar. And in the aftertaste, let's get this down the hatch. I would say like a nice vanilla thing coming through in the end. The old vanilla ice, ice baby. Um, right, score for this, guys. Sheepdog, peanut butter, waski. Now... You know when at the start of it, I had that cheeky smell and I was like, Phew. a strong smell of peanut butter, obviously. In my head then, I was thinking straight away, I'm not going to like this because I'm not a lover of peanut butter at all. But the taste of it is completely different than the smell. I'm pleasantly surprised. I was thinking at first, oh, it's going to be just a... A five out of ten, you know, and you feel a bit crap, don't you? Because someone's been kind enough to buy it for us. But I can't lie, if I was going to give it a five, I'd have to give it a five. But after tasting it, I'm I'm really surprised with that caramel taste, like the taste of like a Snickers bar, and I love a Snickers bar, guys. So I'm going to give it a very decent score, a, a really good score. Not quite as good as the last one for that which got 8.5, but still a very good, a very respectable 8 out of 10 dingo man dingoes. Oh, yes. You know what I'm talking about. And you know it makes complete, total sense. Oh, nearly dropped it. Well, guys, that's the end of this double penetration waski with you. You know what I'm talking about. This is serious waski tasting. Well, Almost the end of this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it so far. If you don't mind putting up with me, talking some more shit for another couple of minutes, we'll just chill here and I'll think of something else to, to talk about. Um, what am I going to be up to this weekend? Well, my little man friend, little schmick, the human dorsal Finley queer, he's away on holiday at the minute. He's with his brothers and some other family members. They've hired a house out down Whitby. In beautiful Yorkshire, so he's enjoying himself down there. Knowing little Mick, he will be on the beers big time. So, pardon me, I've messaged him, I've texted him, and I've said, Are you coming out camping this weekend, little Schmickle Dorsal Finn? And he says he's been walking all over, and his legs, his little legs, is killing him. So he says, Well, if you're thinking about going to lakes, because we weren't quite sure what we're going to do, we didn't know if we were going to lake or Northumberland or just like a local stealth camp you know like something a bit mad so he says if we're going to go to the lakes he wants to wait till next weekend you know a week's time from now or, you know over a week because he needs time to get his legs you know so they're not aching but he says if we're going to just go local and do a stealth camp he is up for this weekend if you know what I'm talking about man goes. so let me know what you want in the in the comment section, guys, let me know if you want to see little Schmickeruble out on a stealth camp this weekend. Something local. It'll be something good and fun. You know, guys, I always come up with some good ideas for the stealth camps. Or if you want to see little Schmick somewhere beautiful in the Lake District, you know, get a little Nick up a mountain or something like that. Because he's a little trooper, you know, you can do it as long as you take your time and you let him have a break when he wants. He'll get there. He gets up them mountains, honestly. He's done it before, so we can do it again. Yep, yeah, let me know what you want, guys, in the in the comment section. This week for a stealth camp, or next week for a wild camp. Anything else? Can I think of anything else to talk about before I let you guys go? Before I bore you to death? Um, I just a little idea I've got. I'm thinking a little idea, you know, just to keep the channel fresh. Um, right, here's an idea. Someone suggested it, 
a while ago and I thought, oh, I'm not too sure. But the more I'm thinking about it, it's not, it's not a bad idea. If people send me like a private little video, you know, like on Instagram, no point sent us on Facebook, you know, like a messenger, because I keep my Facebook, uh, what's it called, messenger? I keep that private, my Facebook private. But if you, if you message us privately on Instagram with a little video, remember to turn your camera sideways so the picture's long dingo, man dingoes. If you send us your own little video, something daft, something silly, nothing rude or anything like that, I don't want to get kicked off YouTube, but um, I maybe it's your own little snippet of a little wasky of you or cooking or something when you're enjoying camping with your kid or your family. I don't know. If it's a little snippet, 10 seconds long, 20 seconds long, 30 seconds long, I'll have a look. And maybe I can add that into this Friday night video. You know, guys, me Sunday night video is my main video. That's that's the main one that will never end. No matter what I do, no matter what ideas I come out with for the Friday night videos or if I start doing the Wednesday night videos I've been talking about, Sunday night I'll always be camping. Whether it's stealth camping, wild camping, that'll never end. So if that's all you like, guys, the camping videos, don't worry. Sunday night I'll always be camping but i i just thought that would be nice a nice little idea to get the fans more involved with the channel because I, I love you guys and i really appreciate you watching my little channel and helping me grow so i why not send me your own little snippets your own little little videos i'm on instagram it's what's my instagram thing called my mind's gone blank blot outdoor show official so if you don't follow us on instagram guys make sure you do why not send me a little 10, 20, 30 second little video? And you never know, guys. You might be lucky and you might end up in one of my Friday night videos. I might show a few little snippets of a few people. You better believe I will. Anyway, I'm talking shit as usual. I'm waffling on. I'm probably boring you to death. So that is the end of this video, guys. Please remember to join me on Sunday night, as usual, for my next camping adventure. Hopefully... Little Schmickeroonie is with me. Fingers crossed. You know makes sense. See you on Sunday, guys. You better believe it. Right. <laughs> oh, Air Mason.